Hey, my gem gems. So I'm here to do the Leo New Moon reading. Um, the Leo New Moon is going to affect everybody, not just the Leos. Uh, if you've got Leo in your chart, double whammy. So Mount Lilith is actually in Leo, and I'm a Gemini. <laughs> so the Leo New Moon in Lemon's turns, let the spotlight come down on you. You know, you're allowed, you're deserving of that. Be your own cheerleader, celebrate yourself. Stand out, get that fire energy around you. So we're going to get one from Believe in Your Own Magic. For yourselves, for my fellow gem gems, what is going on? We have Fron. Your potential is endless. See potential, Demina. You deserve to sit yourself on the throne. And in your own life, it's that Leo new moon. Put yourself on your own throne. Treat yourself like a king, the queen that you truly are. So you're allowed. You're allowed. I don't know why I keep saying you're allowed. Some of my Geminis hold themselves back. So I'm using my empowerment deck for the new moon reading. I don't know why I'm looking so dark. So you'll have to bear with. So new moon energy, the main card, the main energy is the ruins. So it's almost like you've kind of, you've been going through a lot lately. You're kind of realising that a lot of it is bricks and mortar though. It's bricks and mortar, it doesn't matter. You know, you can still celebrate life. With, you can still like go for the more natural aspects of life so you may be starting to look after your health you know we've got the light shining down on this little seedling here while she's gaining her strength back so yeah they could have been draining energies but again it's bricks and mortar we can push that to the side we can get back up every day is a new day every day is you know full of new possibilities in order to go forward so there may be like a draining energy you know you may have felt like you've been going through a ruins everything starts to fall down but the good thing is in personal towers it falls down for a reason so then you can shift what actually doesn't really mean anything so what's crossing or challenging my gem gems with the leo new moon the moon <laughs> the moon why the moon your challenge so the full moon is about releasing fears that are holding you back but the new moon is about allowing things to come in we're going to get a visitor in a minute zeus knows i'm speaking to someone else but him yeah he's gone <laughs> yeah so it's about bringing in that energy and allowing yourself to be new allowing new things to come in as well and doing the work and trusting in that as well you know it's it's deserving it's the lunar 13 we have 13 cycles of the moon um in the 12 month period why is it coming around now Ugh. yeah haunted by past decisions haunted by past situations so mm, with that full moon energy, we've just had the full moon in Aquarius, we have started to release a lot of things in the past. And I do feel like you are still in the aspect of releasing any old temptations, whether it be addictions, whether it be people, you know. And I kind of want to say it's about getting to that place where if you're looking backwards, it's only to see how far you've come. So again, it is about, you know, some of you may have experienced that jealousy, whether it be coming from internally yourself or from an outside influence coming towards you as well. But there's a stalemate. I don't know why I want to say there's a stalemate. There's some kind of delay. There's some kind of stalemate. And I feel it's about like not allowing passion into your life. Now with this new moon energy, it's about allowing that passion into your life. Allowing you to be passionate about yourself. Allowing you to shine. You know, so I feel like, yeah, maybe Gemini, you've lost yourself a little bit. And with this new moon energy, it's like, let's get that fire up your ass. You know, let's get something going. Let's get something burning. You're so burning for a reason. Recent past year, you've been doing a lot of work in releasing because she's tired of clinging on there. It's like, I can't cling on anymore. I need to let go because I want to live life like this. I don't want to live life every day as a, a war in my own head or with other people. Um, so it is that need for balance and that's what you've been working on, which is really good, especially as we've had that that full moon in Aquarius. At present, it's about connection, connection with other people, connection with yourself, you know, connecting with your higher self, doing the things in order to keep you grounded and connected with people as well. So connections with other people may be a kind of like limited or kind of a bit skew if at the moment there's no actual pattern of communication so maybe that is what you need to be looking at maybe that's what you wanted to manifest as well more connections more um again that passion that that drive for life so going forward though we do have the four elements which is using all the elements fire water earth air but it's about knowing that that gray cloud that we constantly feel that like we have a little gray cloud above us it's shifting it's time for you to, look, she's standing out in the spotlight. She's allowing herself to glow. 
Allow yourself to glow. Celebrate the good that is within you. And again, look back to see how far you've come. Your power in this situation is karma. Karma is just the law of balance. There is no need to be scared of karma if you're a good person. If you do everything from the heart, you know, because karma always does come back around. And if you've been doing good, that good will come back around. You've been clearing karmic contracts. You've been dissolving karmic contracts. And that's good in itself. You know, you may have been doing mirror work, looking at yourself in the mirror, looking at yourself differently. But that's how you are going to manifest. So you're clearing in order to manifest. And it looks like you're trying to manifest some kind of connection. Whether it be with yourself, connecting with yourself on a true, like, deep energy or with other people. The outside influence to that is recognition. It's time for you to recognise how far you've come because I feel like you've been hard on yourself, Gemini. It's time again to stand in the spotlight. It's time again for you to shine your light and allow yourself to glow and to hell with what anyone else says, thinks, does. Do you know what I mean? It's time for you to open your heart, to drop into your heart, to recognise who you truly are. In your hopes and fears position, we have, we've got soul sisters. So soul family, soul tribe, you want to be with those people. It's almost like you may be feeling a bit lost with the people that you're surrounded by with all the situations, the work, you know, that type of energy. The circles that you're involved in, I'm feeling a little bit lost here. I don't feel like I'm resonating. It's about going towards the people. I feel like you're manifesting connections that you can actually vibe with, that are on your vibe, that want the same things, that will celebrate your achievements with you. Because your outcome is Elijah. So my male guard. Elijah guards my words. So again, your whole reading is about communication. Elijah makes me sound brainy sometimes. I don't know if you've ever seen me on live when I come out with these words and I'm like, what does that mean? Do you know what I mean? Because I'm channeling. I'm channeling that energy. So it's about speaking. So if you're nervous about speaking, channel. Open yourself up. Be be a channel to your own energy because there's a lot of communication coming in. So I feel like that is what you are manifesting. You're manifesting communication. You're manifesting people that will resonate on your level. Um, so I absolutely love this. So look out for the new people that this new moon is bringing in for you, Gemini. Bye.